Hi, I'm Pete Moores from PBM Consulting and today I wanted to briefly talk to you about customer service and its importance to startups and companies in general really. And I'm going to illustrate this through a recent experience I've had with the founder of a software company. And this example shows you exactly how you can lose customers and damage your brand in one easy step. So as many startups find, building that initial buzz around your company, having lots of people spread the word about how good your products or services are, is difficult, but it's vital. Now the marketing theory says that this is best done through turning your initial customers into advocates. People who champion your company, spread the positive word to their friends and colleagues, and engage with you, making it easier and positioning yourself for more sales. Now one way to do this is to set up a private Facebook or LinkedIn group and invite your customers to join. And through this channel, your customers can have the chance to learn more about using your product or service, hear about new updates, offers or discounts, get support with any usability issues and much more. For you, the brand owner, the group offers you the opportunity to develop that community of advocates to define and demo new product offerings to an already engaged audience and get up to the minute feedback on any issues that they currently experience. And that feedback is vital about enhancing your product or services with new features or new products entirely. Here's where the lesson is. In any business, you're going to have frustrated customers, ones that ask difficult questions ones that aren't 100% happy with the service they're getting. It's a part of business life. How you respond though, makes the difference in either winning these customers over or losing them forever and damaging your brand. This is especially true when you have customers commenting in a semi-public channel. You have to learn how to deal with any less than positive comments in a way that doesn't damage your brand and turn these potential advocates into critics. After all, a recent survey of customer experience says that, for example, Americans say they tell an average of nine people about good experiences and nearly twice as many, 16 people, about poor ones, making every individual service interaction important for your business. So here's what you shouldn't do, and this is what happened to me. Engage with them in a public back and forth in the group. Try and persuade them that they're wrong start to question their motives, experience or credibility. When they don't respond well to that, ban them from the group, delete their account and refund their money, stopping them from using the service they paid for in the first place. Finally, in the termination notice, threaten them with legal action for slander or harassment issues. Is that how you want people to talk to their friends, colleagues or their LinkedIn network about your product? So here's what you should do. Listen to what your customers are saying. Invite them to respond privately via direct message or email, or even better, a phone call. Try and understand what their issues are. It may be that they hold the key to a product enhancement you hadn't thought of, or maybe they've raised something that other users only think about but don't say out loud. If, of course, you can't agree and the customer is still not happy, then you can offer to refund them their money and they will see this as a positive outcome. So there you go, my pro tip for how not to lose customers and damage your brand. Let me know in the comments if this was useful to you, so at least something positive can emerge from my experience.